Hello, Oscillator Sync here, and welcome to a video where I'm going to show off um, something that I've been building in the background um, that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So, um, as you can probably guess by the writing on the screen, uh, what I've built is a free online patch editor for the Volker FM and also DX7, because they work the same way. Now, this patch editor works entirely within the browser. For the moment, just Chrome and Opera. Um, that's just because they're the only browsers that support MIDI currently. But what we have here is a full free patch editor, runs entirely within the browser, and it gives you complete control over all of the different parameters inside the Volker FM so that you can more easily create sounds and edit patches as you go. So let's take a look at how it works. So um, usually when you get to the site for the first time, I'll just turn this on so you can see it. Um, it will ask you whether the page can be given access to your MIDI devices. Just click allow and this stuff down here will load automatically. Um, you need to select your MIDI device if you've got multiple MIDI devices. Uh, my Volker is connected up to my Focusrite Scarlet, so I check that. Um, now, usually you would then select your MIDI channel. However, it turns out that the Volker FM only accepts patch information on MIDI channel 1, so you can just leave that on 1. Now, as I mentioned, we've got complete control over all of the different parameters down here. Um, and we'll take a listen to, to that and have a look at how it works in a second. Um, but I'll just explain what's going up in this panel here. So um, if you go to choose file, you can choose a MIDI SysX file that's designed for the um, Volker FM or the DX7 for that matter. And you can load that and it will load up its current parameters in the interface here. Once you've created a sound that you like, uh, you can click on the save SysX and that will download a uh, MIDI SysX file to your local machine uh, for you to save and back up so you can use it at a later date. Um, by clicking init patch, um, this will send a general um, initialized patch to your Volker FM. A lot of people have been asking in the comments, um, where can I get an, an initialized patch from? Well, now you can get it by just hitting that and it will send the patch straight to the Volker. But probably the coolest feature here uh, for me is that once you've created a sound that you like and that you want to share with people and show off, you can click this create shareable patch link and if you copy and paste this link, send it to someone else, they will instantly be able to access the sound it will be sent to their Volker uh, automatically. Now, what, one more thing before I dive into the sounds for me to mention. Um, whenever you change any of these parameters, it will automatically send that to the Volker FM, which will um, change the patch that is currently loaded. It won't overwrite anything. So once, um, if, if you accidentally send something um, and it's a patch that you like, don't worry, you can just reload the patch in your Volker FM. But once you have created something that you like in the interface here, do make sure that you go ahead and save it on your Volker FM as well. Okay, let's have a little play just so we can hear it in action. So I'm just gonna turn off a bunch of the operators. I'm going to go down to the operator settings down here and choose algorithm five, because that's my favorite. Um, okay, let's just set something going on the Volker FM. Okay, so as I mentioned, we have full control over everything. So at the moment, uh, algorithm 5 is operator 2 as the modulator, operator 1 as our carrier. Uh, so if we turn down operator um, 2's output, then we'll just hear operator 1 on its own doing its thing. Uh, let's make just turn all the way up. Cool, so uh, let's bring in operator two. So um, the, the site will send the MIDI to your device when you let go of the slider. That's just to um, stop it from constantly sending MIDI to the device. So we can hear that we're getting some modulation there. That's cool, let's detune operator to a bit. Get some of that nice richness happening there. Lovely. Uh, let's maybe get a bit more of a pingy kind of attack going so we can bring EG R2 up and Yeah, 
Yeah, that's cool. And we could bring an operator three and four, perhaps. Uh, perhaps we want to make these fade a bit more. And, and so on. So you can see here that we've got complete control over everything. Um, it's a cool sound. <laughs> okay. So um, that that's basically it. Um, and also, if we wanted to save uh, or rather send this link to someone, we can click the create shareable patch link and then we can post that somewhere. Um, there is a um, group on Facebook called the Volcraft FM patch sharing group. Uh, it's a great place. If you want to share your patches, that's a great place to go do it. So you can go and check that out if you like. Um, so just a couple of other things I wanted to mention um, before we finish the video. The first thing is that um, this is currently a beta version. So there's stuff here that isn't exactly how I want it to be when it's finished. Um, tweaks to the interface, I think, that need doing. Um, um, for example, I want to make sure that we can visualize the um, envelopes a bit better, for example. So that's coming soon. Um, if you have any issues, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to sort them out. Um, the other thing that I want to mention is that this uh, Synthmata page is a page that I've set up um, and I'm going to be building and creating other interesting synthesis stuff that all runs inside the browser. So that might be additional uh, control surfaces for other synths. So if there's a synth that you want to see supported, let me know. I'll see what I can do if I can get my hands on one for testing. If you uh, are a synth manufacturer and you happen to be watching this and you want me to support your synth, again, drop me a line, uh, oscillatorsync at gmail.com, and we can chat, see what we can do. If you happen to be a full stack web developer and you're watching this and you're going, man, I, I could definitely make this uh, work better and you're willing to, to work with me, again, hit me up by email or in the comments and we can chat. Um, so yeah, uh, control services, uh, uh, experimental sequences, all sorts of interesting stuff um, on the way. Um, I hope you enjoy using this. Uh, we'll be back next week with our tutorial videos uh, back to normal. I'll carry on doing the tutorial videos on the Volcraft FM itself, um, but you can always come and use this instead. I hope you enjoy uh, playing with this and I hope you find it useful. Please let me know in the comments. Make sure you like the video if you're into it. Hit subscribe and I will see you again soon, guys. Enjoy using it.